Everybody, good evening, and welcome to the Gospel Minute Live. I'm Steve Toby, and Jonathan Nichols will be with us in just a minute or two, or less. And today is December the 3rd, and it is the feast day of the Hiram Martyr Theodore, who was the Archbishop of Alexandria. It's also the feast day of the prophet Zephaniah. But the uh, troparian for Theodore... By sharing in the ways of the apostles, you became a successor to their throne. Through the practice of virtue, you found the way to divine contemplation, O inspired one of God. By teaching the word of truth without error, you defended the faith, even to the shedding of your blood. I remind Theodore, entreat Christ God to save our souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, let's go to Jonathan. Good evening, Jonathan. How are you? Good evening, ya? Steve. I'm blessed. Thanks be to God. Thanks How are you, Steve? Good. Great. Good. Wonderful. Good. Good evening, everyone. Let's pray. Okay. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind, and with the pure light of thine divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory together with thine unoriginate Father and thine all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Our first reading is from Psalm 66. It's found on page 724 of your Orthodox Study Bible. The note for 66 says, Psalm 66 prophesies the resurrection of, of Christ. The end. Verses 3 and 5 in particular emphasize the incorporation of the Gentiles into the church through the resurrection. Psalm 66 forms a unit with 65 and 67, which are used throughout the services of Pascha and Bright Week. Let us attend. Psalm 66 for the end in hymns, a psalm of an ode. May God be gracious to us and bless us. May he cause his face to shine upon us, that we may know his way on the earth. Your salvation among all the Gentiles. Let the people give thanks to you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the Gentiles be glad and greatly rejoice, for you shall judge the peoples in uprightness and lead the Gentiles on the earth. Let the people give thanks to you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth yielded her fruit. May God, our God, bless us. May God bless us and let us let all the ends of the earth be in fear of him. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our first reading. It is the epistle of Galatians, chapter 3. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Galatians, chapter 1, verse 3 through 10, found on page 1588 of your Orthodox Study Bible. Your uh, notes... There's two of them. I'll, I'll, I'll pick the, the second one. Paul's greeting encapsulates the true gospel, which he is defending in this epistle. Several points may be drawn from this greeting. One, the true gospel comes from God himself, verse 3. And two, Christ gave himself for our sins, not only in his death, but in every phase of his incarnation, from concept to ascension. 
3. Christ delivers us from this present evil age to enter the age to come. 4. This deliverance is accomplished according to the will of our God. The Son, of, in, the Son in His human nature cooperating with the divine will. The Father's will is done by Jesus and then by us on earth as it is in heaven. The word of our Lord. Grace to you and peace from God, the Father of, uh, and our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another. But there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what we receive, let him be accursed. For I do not, for, for do I now persuade men or God, or do I see to please men? For if I still pleased men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. The word of our Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Excuse me. Tonight's gospel is from Luke chapter 12, verses 32 to 40, found on page 1392 of your Orthodox Study Bible. And um, the notes say, do not fear is a recurrent theme in this discourse. Little flock refers to all believers. They are little in two ways. One, they are insignificant in the eyes of the world. And two, they are small in number when compared to the earthly and heaven, heavenly creation. 12, 35 to 36, a call to be vigilant, echoing the imagery of the parable of the wise and foolish virgins. Your waist be girded. Be ready for virtuous action, lamps burning having spiritual discernment. Starting on verse 32. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and give alms. Provide yourself money bags which do not grow old and treasure in the heavens that do not fail, where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning, and your, you yourselves be like men who wait for their master when he return, when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, that they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, and find them so blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, that the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. The word of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank let's you. Let's see who we got today. You're welcome. Yeah. And now let's see who's room with us this evening. There's Joseph Khalil. Good evening, Joseph. And he has a uh, verse from Psalm 34. I sought the Lord... And he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Amen. Yeah, you have nothing to fear if you have the Lord on your side. That's right. Amen. Nothing to fear. And 
Let me see, over here. Lena May, good evening to you, my little sister. And Katarina and Salas, good evening. Pray for me and my family as we are going through my dad having health issues with kidneys. Pray for us for answers. Thank you, Lord. We pray for uh, Katarina and uh, her family, Lord. We pray that you help them through this, uh, this time. And uh, we pray for her father who has those health issues with his kidneys, Lord. We pray that you heal and uh, heal his kidneys. We pray for that, Lord. Amen. And there's our friend from India, Umish. Shalom, my prayer family. Well, shalom to you too. Please pray for me and my small church and my family. Yes, we pray for you. And Lord, we pray for a healthy birth. Umesh is going to become a father here in a little while. We pray for a healthy birth. <coughs> Excuse me. And Karen Kalanovich, praying for all you sweet ones. Amen. And let me see here. Mary Saad, good evening prayer family. And Katerina. Karen, Karen Kalanovich says, Good evening, Steve, and sweet prayer family. Such a blessing to be with all of you. Amen. Thank you. Wilson Salviejo, up there in Canada. Good evening to you. Can me see here. Ruthie Johnson, good evening from Kentucky. Asking for extra prayers. I have a pretty rough headache that has been lingering on for days. Lord, we pray for, uh, we pray for our sister, Ruthie, that you heal her, that you take away that headache. We pray for that, Lord. Take away that headache. Amen. Take it away. There's David Fox from sunny Yorkshire, England. We're all over the world tonight. Canada, India, now England. Sunny Yorkshire, England, I must say. Good evening, David. And uh, there's Nel Nelvia Agnew from Arkansas. Good evening to you. Praying that... You are healed of your cancer. We pray for that. Now, she's in the hospital, I believe. So uh, she reminds us that Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. Amen. And let me see. Joanne Manaski, Phoenix, Arizona. Good evening, everyone. A cold and rainy day here. Same thing here. Cold, rainy, and windy. And let me see. Bum. Mother Elizabeth, God is with us. God is with us. Mother Elizabeth, blessing all those named in honor of St. Barbara and the Blessed Theotokos, all Marys and Marias. Thank you. Yes. And let me see here. Over here and over here. There's Robin and Pippin. Good evening, my friends from Pippin. And I, and me, and there's Nancy Klein. She says, we're here, we're here. Good to have you here, you and Ken. And uh, we're praying for your, um, Nancy, we're praying for your brother-in-law, Ken's brother who's fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. And we're praying for Ken's mother too. Uh, we're praying for her, Lord, for uh, a recovery from that, uh, from that stroke. Now she was, in the care of Ken's brother who passed away. So she's got a lot of new stuff in front of her now. And they moved her, I think, into a nursing home. So Lord, we pray that she makes that, that transition peacefully. We pray for that. And, oh, there's Jonathan Nichols doing double duty this evening. <laughs> okay. And I'll bet Joanna joins us a little later. Helen Stevens, God bless and good evening, Steve, Kurt, Jonathan, Christina, Robin, Amy, Mother Elizabeth, and everyone else here. Amen. Okay, so tonight we really start the story of King David. Yep. We really start the and uh, chapter sixteen of First Kingdoms or First Samuel, if you have, um, if you're not in the Septuagint. So uh, we start his story tonight. So. Would you uh, start us out in the story of King David? In your Orthodox Study Bible, it's page 337, 
Chapter 16, David anointed king of Israel. Now the Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill your horn with olive oil and come. I will send you to Jesse in Bethlehem, for I have seen someone um, among his son to reign for me. And Samuel said, How can I go? Saul will hear it, and he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a heifer in your arms and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Then invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you what to do. You shall anoint the one I tell you. So Samuel did everything the Lord said to him and went to Bethlehem. And the elders of the, of the town were astonished at meeting him. And they said, Seer, do you come in peace? And he said, Peaceably I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and rejoice with me today. Then he sanctified Jesse and his sons, and he invited them to the sacrifice. And it came to be, when they entered, that Samuel looked at Eliab and said, Surely the anointed of the Lord is before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Have no regard for his outward appearance, nor for the maturity of his stature, because I have refused him. For man does not see as God sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord sees into the heart. So Jesus called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. And Samuel said, The Lord did not choose this one either. Then Jesse brought Shammah. But Samuel said, nor, the, nor has the Lord chosen this one. Thus Jesse brought seven of his sons before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, the, the Lord has not chosen these. Then Samuel said to Jesse, Are there any other young men here? Then Jesse said, There remains yet the youngest, keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and bring him, for we will not sit down until he comes here. So he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, with bright eyes, and good-looking to the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Arise, anoint David, for he is good. Then Samuel took the horn of olive oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord tormented him. And Saul's servants said to him, Behold, an evil spirit from the Lord is tormenting you. Now let your servants speak before you, and let them seek for our Lord, a man whom, who knows how to play the harp. And it will come to pass, when the evil spirit is upon you, he will play his harp, and it will be good for you and give you rest. So Saul said to his servants, Indeed, seek out for me a man who plays skillfully and bring him to me. Then one of his servants answered and said, Look, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who understands playing on the harp, a prudent man, a man of war, wise in speech, handsome, and the Lord is with him. Therefore Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, Send me your son David, who is with the sheep. And Jesse took a homer of bread, a skin of wine, and one young goat, and sent them by the hand of his son David to Saul. So David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. Then Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David stand here before me. For he has found favor in my sight. So whenever the evil spirit was upon Saul, David would take the harp and play it with his hand. Then Saul would become well refreshed, and evil and the evil spirit would depart from him. The word of our Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I want you to pay special attention to something. Attention to something here. Uh, a couple of things. You know, for man does not see God as 
For man does not see as God sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord sees into the heart. That's one thing. That's great. And you might see me highlighting, and that's what I was highlighting. Also, another thing, and uh, I want you to hold this into your memory over the next couple of nights. Um, King Saul, King Saul sent uh, messengers to Jesse and said, send me your son David, who was with the sheep. And Jesse took out a homer of bread, a skin of wine, and one young goat and sent them by the hand of his son David to Saul. So David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. Then Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David stand here before me, for he has found favor in my sight. So whenever the evil spirit was upon Saul, David would take a harp and play it with his hand. So King Saul likes this young man, David. He says he loves him. Makes him his armor bearer. Very important position. He'll go into battle. He'll go into battle with King Saul. So highly favored and uh, much loved. And over here in chapter 17 or 18, he forgets all about who David is. He's After David kills Goliath, he said, who was it that killed Goliath? And he was told, the son of Jesse. And uh, he doesn't know who he is. He has no idea who he is. I think that's... Uh, I think that's sort of amazing that uh, Saul would not know who he uh, held in high esteem and who played the harp for him and was his armor bearer and who he says he loved. So just a little quirk there, I guess, but hard to understand, but that's, that's the way it is. Okay, so let me see here. Mother Elizabeth, for man does not see as God sees. Yes, amen. Thank you, Mother Elizabeth. And let me see here. Yeah. Oh, I knew she'd show up. There's Oanna. I knew she'd show up. Good evening, dear friends. Good evening, Oanna. Say hello to Maria and the whole family for us. Amen. And okay. So, my friend, would you lead us in prayer this evening? It will be my honor. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, O comforter, the spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Now that the day has come to a close, I thank thee, O Lord. And I ask that the evening with the night may be sinless. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now that the day is past, I glorify thee, O Master. And I ask that the evening with the night may be without offense. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me, both now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Now that the day has run its course, I praise thee, O Holy One, and I ask that the evening with the night may be undisturbed. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, if during this day I have sinned, whether in word or deed or thought, forgive me all, for thou art good and lovest mankind. Grant me peaceful and undisturbed sleep, and deliver me from all influence and temptation of the evil one. Raise me up again in proper time, that I may glorify thee. For thou art blessed, thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in the one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, one essence of the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnated of the Holy Spirit and Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us also he was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end and I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord and giver of life who proceeds from the Father who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified who spoke by the prophets and I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Thou who at all, at all times and every hour, both in heaven and on earth, are worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, long-suffering, plenty plenteous in mercy and compassion, who loves the just and shows mercy to the sinners, who calls all men to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Do thou, the same Lord, receive our supplications at this present hour and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set aright our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from all calamity, wrath, and distress. Compass us round about, about with the, thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by them, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the, thy knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Would you give the blessing, please? Yes. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Well, thank you so much, uh, Jonathan. And uh, let me see, today is Saturday, so we'll see you tomorrow night on the panel. Lord willing. Yep. Lord willing and the crick don't rise. That's Amen. right. Okay. Well, thanks right, a lot. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So this is when we pray for each other. So, Lord, we ask that you remember and have mercy on all those who we are about to pray for. And, Lord, we pray for Dottie Thomas, our sister who has fallen asleep. We pray that she has found eternal rest with you. We pray for her son, Ben, for his health, and for Sarah, her granddaughter. We pray for her health. We pray for Ed Namoff, Lord, um, for his health. We pray for his wife, um, who's been going through... A lot of back pain for the last 10 years or so. Lord, she's seen new doctors, and we pray that you heal her through those doctors. We pray for uh, Ed's brother, George, who's fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. And we pray for Dmitry Boskovsky. We pray that you heal and strengthen his heart. We pray for our sister Mary Sod, Lord. We pray for her and her children. Keep them healthy. Keep them safe. Amen. And we pray for her Aunt Tina for her health and the health of Mary's sister. We pray for Leah for her health and a healing from those stomach ulcers. And we pray for Andy that he comes to you in faith. Lord, we pray for our sister Katerina Salas and her family for their health and healings for them, especially her father right now, Lord. And we pray that you bring peace to that family as well. Amen. 
And Lord, we pray for Ken and Nancy Klein out there in Homer, Alaska. We pray for them, Lord, keep them healthy and safe. We pray for Ken, that you comfort and console him on the loss of his brother. And we pray that his brother um, has found eternal rest with you. We pray for that. We pray for Ken's mother, Mary Alice, Lord. A lot of changes in her life, and she's just getting, getting over a stroke. So, Lord, we pray for Mary Alice. We also pray, for Lord, for uh, Ken and Nancy's two children, Lydia and Darius. We pray for their health, and we pray that they come home in faith to you. We pray for Christina Metz, who uh, is recovering from uh, breast cancer, Lord. And we thank you for bringing her back to good health. We pray for Anna Gennaro out there in Coopville, Washington, with her daughter, Melissa, and Melissa's family, her husband, Daniel. And we pray that he comes home in faith to you. And we pray for their children as well. We pray that you keep them all healthy and safe. We pray for Anna's brother, Joseph. And we pray for the health of Catherine. And we pray for Vivian and Philip that they remain in remission from cancer. We pray for that. And Lord, we pray for Stephanie. We pray for a miracle healing from cancer for Stephanie. We pray for our brother, Joe Barbera. We pray for his health and a healing for him. And Lord, we pray for his sister and brother-in-law, Janice and Jean. We pray for their health. We pray for Joe's brother, Bud, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. And, Lord, we pray for Bud's wife, Loretta. We pray that you give her comfort and consolation. In sunny, sunny Yorkshire, England, Lord, we pray for David Fox. We pray for his wife, and we pray for his wife's cousin, Vina. Please, Lord, keep them healthy and keep them strong. We pray for David's friend, Daniel, that you heal him, Lord, and send him the Holy Spirit to, to guide and strengthen him in his life. We pray for that. We pray for uh, David's Aunt Sylvia, for her health and healing for her. And we pray for Patty, for her health as she recovers from a stroke. We pray for our friend and uh, brother, Wilson Salviejo, up there in Canada, Lord. We pray for his health and success in his studies. We pray for his mother, Gregoria, for his brother, Donald, for his nephews, Ken and Kyer, for his sister-in-law, Rochelle, for his Aunt Rose, and for his mother's caregiver, Stella. We pray that you protect them and keep them safe from all harm, sickness, and disease. We pray for our brother, Stefan Bennett, and his wife, Kendra. And Lord, we pray for their children, Christy, Kara, Justin, Kayla, and Warren. Lord, we pray for our brother, Nick Salvador. We pray for his health and healing for him. And he asks us to pray for Debbie, that she remains cancer-free after you have healed her. And excuse, oh, and uh, we, Lord, we pray for uh, the health of Francisco and a family friend, Judy, and we pray for their health, and we pray for uh, Nick's uh, mother and his two brothers. Keep them healthy, and keep Murray and Macy healthy as well. We pray for Luke. We pray for him, Lord, for success in his studies at seminary. We pray for uh, Michael. We pray for healing for Isaac, Susan, Dugan, and Minor, or Meter. Lord, we pray for these people. They all have serious health conditions. We pray that you heal them. Amen. Now, I was going to do this earlier. Joseph read, wrote back to us, and uh, he said, Very few people received the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament, and they were considered holy people. We all receive the Holy Spirit with baptism, and what a great gift that is, but we often under underappreciate it. That's true. We just take it as one of those things. So... Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. And oh, Anna says, this is the best place to be on Saturday night. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Well, Lord, getting back to our prayers, we pray for uh, we pray for little Jackson, that he remains cancer-free. And we pray for two other small boys, Elijah and Collier. They each have cancer, and we pray for healing for them. We pray for our sister over there in the UK, Clara Routing. We pray for her, Lord, several health conditions, including cancer. And Lord... She suffers a lot. We pray that you uh, relieve her suffering and give her a healing. We pray for Alione Shanera, for her husband and her children. We pray for them, Lord. And uh, we pray, dear Lord, that uh, you keep them all safe and healthy. We pray for little Kaylin, little baby Kaylin. She's at home now, but still receiving oxygen, but doing better. And we thank you so much. She was in the hospital. Lord, we pray for Deborah Goodall, for her children and her grandchildren. Keep them all healthy and safe. We pray for Kristen. Um, 
who you healed from that thyroid cancer. We pray that she remains cancer free. And uh, Deborah's husband is home this week from the hospital. And we pray for a full recovery for him. And Deborah also has a loved one who is who is uh, who has an addiction, Lord. And we pray, dear Lord, that uh, that you send him the Holy Spirit to help him with his struggle. Well, Lord, Mother Elizabeth asks us to pray for Nadine Klippa, who had a recent total hip surgery and replacement. We pray for Mary Lou Klippa, who's in rehab after being hospitalized. We pray for Father John. Post, uh, he just had some surgery, Lord, and we pray for full recovery for him. We pray for Father Nick Hanner and the St. Michael's Children's Compassion Center in Kenya. And, let me see, moving over here, we, move, we pray for Mother Elizabeth and her ministry and the building of the new Tikfin Skeet of the Holy Mother of God and the Christmas Monastery School online. And so, Lord, we pray for success for Mary, Mother Elizabeth and uh, this ministry of hers. We pray for that. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Connie Devados. We pray for her health. And we pray, dear Lord, for healing for her family. We pray, dear Lord, that her children, her grandchildren, return to the Orthodox faith. And we pray that they worship you as one whole family. We pray for that through the Orthodox Church. We pray for the health and the healing for Evangelina and return to her ministry. And Lord, we pray for the health of Jeff, Kathy, Janie, Maria, and Nancy. And Lord, we also pray for healing for little Enrique. We pray for Nolan's mother. We pray for her, Lord. She has fallen asleep due to pancreatic cancer, and we pray that she has found eternal rest with you. Now, Lord, we also pray for Nolan and Enrique's families. We pray to your Lord that you give them courage and strength and hope. We pray for that. Well, Lord, we pray for our sister Nellie Cardvelli. We pray for her, Lord. Uh, you pray for her health. We pray that you protect her. We pray that you keep her right here with us. We pray that you uh, heal her eyes and improve her vision. We pray for that. We pray for her friend Katni over in Germany for his health. We pray for Georgie and Lavani. They both suffer from brain cancer, Lord. Please, Lord, heal them. And, Lord, we pray for our brother, Stel Yo. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep him healthy and safe and protect him. We pray for that. We pray for his uh, special intentions. We pray for his family. We pray for Stel and Sultana's marriage. We pray, dear Lord, that it stays strong and centered around you. And, Lord, we pray for Sultana's family. We pray, dear Lord, for their health and that they come home in faith to you as well. We pray for Oana and Maria and the whole family. Yes, we pray for them, Lord. Keep them healthy and safe and give them your peace as well. We pray, dear Lord, for uh, our sister Marcia, who's fallen asleep. We pray that she has found eternal rest with you. And she has asked us to pray for her family. So, Lord, we pray. We pray, dear Lord, for our, uh, Rachel and Angela, her two uh, daughters. We pray for Evan, her son, and Mila, Evan's wife. And we pray for uh, Marcia's husband, Wayne. We pray for this family, Lord. Keep that family bond straight, strong, and we pray that they increase their faith in you. Now, Marcia is also asked to pray for Paul, Steve, Rick, TJ, and Chris. They all suffer from or have suffered from cancer. And we pray that you make them cancer-free. Lord, we pray for Tatiana and Abel. Aliona Shanera asks us to pray for them. And uh, Lord, we pray that you make them cancer-free. We also pray for John, Mark, and Lauren. We pray for their health. And Lord, we pray that they have an increase of faith in you. We pray for the health of Nicole. We pray for Joanne, that's Eleone's niece. And we pray that you heal her of cancer. We pray for Michael, for his health. We pray for John, Stephanie, and Carol. And Lord, we pray for Kim and Lindsay. They each have heart problems. And Lord, we pray that you heal and strengthen their hearts. We pray for Lindsay's husband, William. We pray for his health. We pray for Tim, who suffers from cancer, Lord. We pray that you make him cancer-free. And we pray for his wife, Marilyn. She had cancer, and you healed her, Lord. Now we pray. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep her cancer-free. Well, Lord, Kurt Lytle, our brother, asks us to pray for uh, Holly, Greg Webster, Paul Gilbert, Jason Phillips, 
Curia, Terry Rogers, Sherry Jackson, Michael Diamond, and Bruce Mahan. We pray for their health. And we pray, dear Lord, for Barbara Kaiser, who has cancer. Oh, but the news has been wonderful, and we thank you for that. And uh, she, so we pray that she continues to, uh, to recover from cancer, Lord. And we pray for that, and thank you for all you've done. Now, Lord, we also pray for John Abbas, a childhood friend of Kurt's. He has cancer, Lord, and we pray that you heal him. Uh, we pray for Deacon Michael Hyatt, who had that heart attack, so we pray that you heal and strengthen his heart. We pray for Mark Myers for full recovery from his surgery. We pray for Amy, Joseph, and Miles, a four-year-old little boy, Lord. We pray that you heal each of them. We pray for Betty Bear that you uh, keep her cancer free. We pray for uh, Kurt's daughters, Kristen, Rachel, and Nicole, and Kristen's husband, Brandon. We pray for these young people, Lord. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep them safe, keep them healthy, and we pray that they um, grow in faith in you. We pray for that. We, Lord, we pray for our brother Kurt. Keep him healthy, protect him, keep him safe, and keep him right here with us. And Lord, we pray, Kurt asks to pray for the health of Katie and Jim Parsons, Father Benedict, and the monks of the Holy Cross Monastery. Well, Lord, we pray for our sister Ruthie Johnson, who's had that bad headache. And Lord, we pray that you get rid of that headache of hers. We pray for that. And Lord, we pray uh, for her, her general health and that you keep her cancer free. We pray for that. We pray for her family. We pray for her children, Katie and Amy and John, Michael and Philip. Keep them healthy. And Lord, we pray that they grow in faith in you. We pray for Katie's husband, Andy. We pray for Andy and Andy and Katie's two children. Keep that family healthy, Lord, and keep them growing in faith in you. We pray for that. We pray for uh, Ruthie's husband, Phil. We pray for him, Lord, keep him healthy. We pray for Danny, especially this evening, Lord. He's been moved to another hospital, to a hospital, that is. And uh, he has some mental health issues, and we pray that you heal him and give him your peace. We pray for that. Now, Lord, we also pray for Tricia. That's uh, Ruthie's niece. We pray for Tricia and her family, Matthew and Kevin. We pray for uh, Brandy, Phil, and Paul Collins out there in Wyoming. We pray for them, Lord. Keep them healthy. And we pray for Brandy's brother, Kevin, that you send him the Holy Spirit to help him and guide him in his life. And we pray for Brandy's schnauzers. Keep them healthy, right on the couch with uh, Brandy. And Phil is asked to pray for Kathy Rickard, who suffers from a chronic uh, stomach problem. And we pray, dear Lord, that uh, you heal her. Joni Dedman Guthrie asks to pray for Donna, who's fallen asleep due to cancer. So, Lord, we pray that she has found eternal rest with you. And, Lord, we pray for Barbara and Susan. They each have cancer, Lord. And we pray for healings for them. And we pray for a healing for Conrad, that's Joni's son, from that bone disease in his hands. We pray for him. Lord, Karen Valentes is asked to pray for her family. And, Lord, we pray that you keep a close eye on that family and help them along with any struggles that they may be experiencing. We also pray for the Pantelis family, the Tabas family, the Leonteritas family, the Zagrianas family, Camino's family, the Verderas family, and the Lovanos family. Keep these families healthy and safe, Lord. We pray for Father Dimitri Nicolodakis, Father Dimitri Constantine, Father Joe Di Stefano, Father Daniel Rohan, Father Daniel Bientoro, and for Father John. We pray for these priests, for their health, their ministries, and their families. And Lord, we pray especially for Father John for full recovery from that stroke. We pray for the parishes of St. Demetrios in Warren, Ohio. That's Karen's parish. We pray for St. George's in Maslin, Ohio. St. Nicholas Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. Archangel Michael Parish in Campbell, Ohio. St. John the Forerunner Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. And Holy Assumption Church in Little Rock, Arkansas. And Karen also asks to pray for Kim, who has uh, fallen asleep due to stomach cancer. Well, Lord, we pray for Karen Karlanovich's parish. That's the prophet of Elias, prophet Elias parish in Santa Cruz, California. We pray for that parish. We pray for the Nativity of Christ parish in Youngstown, Ohio. That's Douglas and Claudia de Rhodes family. We pray for all saints of Alaska parish in uh, Homer, Alaska, Lord, and that is Ken and Nancy's parish. We pray for these parishes and the ones we mentioned earlier, Lord, 
that they all thrive and grow and flourish and continue to do your good work. We pray for that. Well, Lord, we pray for our sister Christina Hunter and her children. Keep them healthy. Keep them safe. We pray for success for Christina's business. We pray for her parents, Tamara and Doran Nell. And uh, we pray for their health. And Lord, they live over in Romania. Now, we had a request this, this morning and after we went off the air uh, to pray for those people in Romania because there's tough times over in Eastern Europe right now. So, you know, we pray for all of those in and Romania and the Ukraine and Moldova and Georgia, all those uh, Eastern European countries, Lord, we pray that you have mercy on them. And we pray also, Lord, for Christina's friend Julie for a full recovery from that hip surgery. We pray for Basili Johnson and we pray for Marcus. And Lord, we pray for Patricia and her family. Patricia is losing her memory. And we pray that you restore her memory. Amen. Now it's time to go around and see if there's any other prayer requests. Oh, let me see here. And there are none. Okay. So, Lord, we, we ask that you remember all those that we have prayed for this evening and have mercy on them. Lord, we ask that you extend your healing hands and all those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We ask you for your healing, your grace, and your love as we give you our love. And we pray that the most holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, remembers us and our prayer intentions and her prayers when she prays. And Lord, we pray that our saints of the day, Saint Theodore and the prophet Zephaniah, Lord, we pray that... Uh, they remember us and our prayer intentions when they pray. Amen. O Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, who has sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death, visit and heal your servants, Lord, all those that we have prayed for this evening, granting them release from pain and suffering and restoration to health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto you and bless your holy name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Well, folks, we'll see you again tomorrow morning for morning prayers at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. we'll see you. Christine and, and Robin and I'll be there. And uh, then we'll see you again tomorrow night at 9 p.m. for a, a discussion on the Virgin Mary and her role. And her role in our lives and our faith. That's tomorrow night at 9 p.m. So morning prayers at 8 a.m. Our discussion tomorrow night at 9 p.m. And all those times are those both those times are Eastern Standard Times. So until then, there are two things that you must remember. One, God loves you, and he really, really, really does. He does. And the second thing to remember is we all love one another. And we really, really, really do. Amen. Well, folks, have a great evening. And may God bless us all in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you tomorrow. Oh, yeah.